This is a film about alpine skiers over the age of 80. They have been skiing for decades and are legends within their communities. In order to find these legends, I traveled to several ski resorts in the USA and Canada. I introduced myself to skiers in the lineup that looked like they might be over 80. Many of the senior skiers that I met along the way had interesting and inspiring stories to share. I am Ed Mandel and I'm 81 years old and I'm skiing here in Washington. I was never very strong and I was never very athletic. When we played sports as a kid on the streets in Brooklyn, we would choose up sides and I would usually be the last one picked you know, on the team. At, but I tried skiing and I loved it the first time I did it and I knew I would like it and I stick to it. I've never been interested in racing or going fast. Or, it's always just enjoying myself, having fun. It isn't for everybody. People know right away whether they like it or not. It's for, you know, individual to decide. This is the second year that I've skied in Washington, and uh, this is my 60th year skiing. After visiting several ski areas in the U.S., I finally arrived back in Canada, where I met my first legend at the Whitewater Ski Resort in Nelson, B.C. It's just as hard to work getting from my car to here, and then, right, yeah, it's easier on the skis. My name is Charlie Buss. I'm 91 years old. I ski at Whitewater. And, uh... I usually ski about three or four days a week on the ski hill. Wednesday nights, I have Scottish dancings. <laughs> Two hours of that. Well, Scottish dancing, there's 14 women, it was just me last year. <laughs> there's two more guys coming now, so I've got a little backup. Coffee friends, I meet at 7 o'clock. <laughs> Another bunch at 2 o'clock. A couple of days a week. Now that I work on the streetcar, so I keep a busy day. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where well, she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Well, I love that little girl with the bright red hair. Well, Miss Lindy. My Miss Lindy. I was uh, 45, I think, when I started skiing. And I used to take the kids out to the, well, we had a ski hill just out of town here, they called the old Silver King. And uh, I used to take the kids out. I got tired of taking them back and forth, so I got a pair of skis and joined them. It makes the winter go by better, you know. Otherwise, I used to hate winter. You know, all, all, all you did was shovel snow. But uh, now you look forward to winter now. Hey, Hi, Ron. How many of you guys got? Three? Three. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Charlie's my favorite guy to ski with. Do you know how old Charlie is? I think he's upwards of 92. Hey, Charlie? I'm, I'm putting it up a bit. Don't, don't, don't let that fool you. Don't let him fool you either. He'll take you on some double black diamonds anytime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, you know, do you know that he's the oldest skier here at Whitewater? Yeah. I have to imagine he is. Yeah. And he skills, skis the entire hill, which is amazing.
Uh, Ch Charlie, where'd we ski? We didn't ski on the groomers, did we? No, no, we skied the trees and the moguls and the hard parts. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was good skiing today, too. Oh, I love skiing, yeah. It, fresh air, get you out, get some exercise. And... Most of the girls I ski with, well, they're between, I guess they're somewhere around 60 to 70 in there, so. But they're all, I mean, they're all good skiers, too. <laughs> I keep up with them. It is, is it? Yeah, it's a Monday starter wrench. Some of my friends see this, they, they won't believe this, I don't think, but anyway, yeah, it's really nice to be out here, and it's, sometimes I wish they were out here with me. Uh, I had trouble with him. But, you know, if he I want everything trouble. high, he wants everything low. Yeah, he hangs everything up, his height, and I can't reach it then. 84, I retired, and didn't think I was going to last that long. <laughs> I was always tired, and wanted to sleep and, and then after about five years I started feeling better and now I'm feeling better than I did when I was in the 80s so well, yeah. I'm pretty good now yeah, I think I <laughs> everywhere I go I meet somebody so trouble I can't remember all their names I got too many girlfriends <laughs> yeah, so yeah it's a good life I have fun all the time so don't worry about anything, just keep going. Keep doing something that won't sit around. You know. No matter, even if you just go for a walk in the park, I like doing that. Nice, get the fresh air out. Get out of the house, that's the main thing. My name is Owen Owens, and this is my wife, Allison, wife of 65 years almost. Allison and I met on a ski hill, or at least in the pub at the bottom of the ski hill. We've been skiing well, together uh, since oh, the early 60s, I guess. Um, we had a baby, and we liked to ski, and the ski hill was a very small ski hill. Um, so we just fashioned a cardboard box that fit nicely under a little fir tree that was on the mountain. And we put Jane in the, fir, in the box and we went up and down and checked every time. And we knew that if, anybody, if she was crying, somebody on the hill would let us know. And in fact, that's what happened. And this was in um, Ontario, in North Bay, where we first, Owen's first job, was. So that was what uh, the story started with that. And of course, we vision, envision it having skiing at Whistler and leaving a baby under a tree. <laughs> it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> well, the thing that's so wonderful about downhill skiing is that gravity is there. And it's wonderful to be able to make use of it. Now, if I'm riding my bicycle, I can't keep up with the people who are, you know, not so much younger than I am. But, but in downhill skiing, I can keep up with a, a lot of the, the people on the mountain. So it's something I can, and I enjoy the speed aspect of the whole thing. So I like to get up first thing in the morning and the hill's very free and just as fast as I can go down the hill it makes me feel great. Today was the first day that the uh, um, George and David uh, were skiing this winter. And so it was really exciting for me 
to see them both skiing fast and very well down the hill. And for a grandfather, you know, to have two good skiers coming along, it's an exciting day. I'm definitely privileged to be able to ski with my 93-year-old grandfather. I don't think many other people have the same privilege to be able to do that, so. And what do you know about your grandfather's ski racing? Okay. He's won a lot of medals. <laughs> He's won a lot of medals. Can you, do you know about how many medals he won? No. Owen, how many medals have you won? I have no idea. No idea. That's why I put them all in one spot. That somebody wants to look at them, they can see them. Nobody's been crazy enough to want to count them. This uh, is my son, who joined our, our Peak the Valley team last year. I was finally old enough to join the team. Yeah. <laughs> and what is that? How old are you, Dan? Well, I'm I'm getting towards fifty. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've been skiing for a few years. I'm almost as good as yeah. this guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, of course that isn't true, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's all I can remember is is getting home from school on Friday and getting in the car and trudging up here in the snow and our old cottage used to have to hike into so the snow was always seemed like it was up to my waist and yeah. it's all I knew was coming here and skiing every weekend so very fortunate to be able to do that for many years and to still be able to do that with him. Yeah, we're pretty lucky to have a day like today where Four of us can have a great day on the mountain and and ski together. Yeah. Primarily, people would think of him currently as as a very active person. It's not just skiing, but skiing is a huge lifestyle for him. But um, you know, he rides his bike a few times a week and right through the winter as well. And he's a very active person. I think that's first and foremost, and I think that's been his philosophy for life throughout. So. I uh, just uh, go in the Peak to Valley once a year. The Peak to Valley race was designed with the idea of encouraging elderly people to keep on, keep their interest up, have something that they can work at to improve and so on. And, uh, and to keep in decent enough shape to be able to ski from the top to the bottom. It's, it, you have to be over uh, 19 to qualify for. That's so I qualify. <laughs> Thank you.
My name is Grace Oaks. I'm 83 years old, and I'm a ski racer at Whistler, BC. I get up every morning and, and have my breakfast, get ready, uh, go skiing, uh, sometimes early, sometimes late, what I feel like doing. Other than when I have training or something, there's no time. Do you ski every day? Every day. I had to follow on about half of the bottom of the course, and I tried and tried and tried to get by him, but he was hugging the inside, and I was trying to go on the outside, and then he, I just I just couldn't get by him. And then about five or six gates from the bottom, he fell. He made a big snowbank, and I, I, I kind of just hopped over his skis and kept on going. <laughs> But I, I'm disappointed because I really wanted to, like, really let it go on that bottom part. But I just could not get by him. Oh, well. Was it fun anyways? Oh, yeah. It's always fun. I did learn to ski when I was married and living in Montreal. Then I started teaching, but in a, when we moved back to Ontario, it was pretty boring. One time when I was at a private club, um, I was um, asked if I would like to forerun a race. And I thought, sure, I can do that. So I did, and I was so thrilled with doing that, that I think the, probably the next week, my husband and I joined the club just so we could go in this inter-club racing. So that really is how I started racing. Go, Grace! Woo! Awesome. Good to see you. Good to see you too. She's awesome. <laughs> we love our Grace. <laughs> Every March, um, I go to the U.S. Nationals. Um, I've been going for so many years now uh, that it's like going to old home week. It's, it is great uh, just to, because I only see these people once a year. Hi, I'm Nancy, and I'm 77. Atta girl, Nancy. I'm Lilla, and I'm 78. Right on. And there's Grace. We know how old she is. 84. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing today? <laughs> it is a brilliant sunshine day, and we are having fun. It's it's a blue sky, and couldn't be better. Snow couldn't be better. To get ready for skiing um, in the summer, uh, I I do a lot of biking and road biking in Ontario, and and I play a lot of golf, and I always walk. Uh, otherwise, you know, I just uh, keep stretching and do my morning ritual. The ritual, you got that little golden hula hoop. Talk about, talk about that thing that you do with your ritual. The first part of my ritual is the hula hoop. Okay, so this is my gold hula hoop, which I use every morning. <laughs> yeah, and they appropriately gave me a gold one. Are you, do you live here? I do live here, um, and I ski every day. 
So how many days do you have this season? Right now, 120 days. <laughs> that's amazing. And it's not even April yet. <laughs> no, that's you're, right. You're beating us badly. I felt really good. <laughs> I got 32 and I, I feel really good about myself. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of, like, all of the different? Yeah, uh, Super G, yeah. PS, and Salad. Wow. So what age category are you in? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> 80 plus. Oh, is there, there's an 80, I was going to say, are you masters? Like, do you have to compete yeah, against 40 it, plus? It is masters, but they have five year age segments. Oh, oh that's okay. fantastic. Yeah. Is there anybody you ski with regularly? Um, no. Nope. Just come up on your own? <laughs> well, do what you no, want to do? No, I have, I have training twice a week, so that's a group. With a coach? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with the best coach. Well, this is an inspiration, so yeah, okay. I would like to ski until I'm 84. Yeah, exactly. That's in my stats that I'm at uh, uh, almost 2 million uh, vertical feet this year, so far. And so you're pretty competitive. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to compete, yes, you've got to be competitive. So there's no use competing and, and just doing it. You've got to do what you can to win. So, and how do you feel about the other colors? <laughs> there isn't any other color. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke about that before. Yeah. Gold is the no, only color. That's right. I I like the gold. <laughs> feel lucky that I'm at this stage of my life, uh, injury free. Maybe part of it is because. Um, you do, you keep on doing these things, and therefore you stay in good shape, um, and therefore you stay strong. And um, that's what people have to do, is keep, keep, keep doing things, anything. If, if I don't know what I would do if I couldn't ski anymore, but I would find something else to do, I would not just sit and deteriorate. So, um, yes. You have to keep moving and keep doing. Find something that you want to do and, and is good for you. <laughs> <laughs>